To cast on stitches, we should start with the usual slip knot for this. Create a circle, put the long string under the circle and pull the yarn through. You get the loop. Then take your nooking needle, go through this loop and tighten. So this is your starting slip knot. Now we have to chain stitches. It's just like usual crocheting. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. And this is your chain which you create. And you chain so many stitches and num this is the number which you want to have afterwards on your hook, on your nooking needle. Yeah? And then if you have enough, now you can cast on your stitches. So we, we go at the beginning through the second stitch from hook. We insert the hook through the second stitch and then yarn over and pull through. You pull up your loop and this is your second loop on your hook. Then through the next stitch, pull through. You have your third loop and so on. And at this point, you should know how you want to nook. So there are two ways, the normal, so the, the usually we have the normal knit stitch or um, the, norm, the normal purl stitch and we have also uh, the knit stitch through the back loop. So this is the cross, the cross knit stitch or the crossed purl stitch. And if you want to, to nook the usual knit stitch, you cast on under the yarn. You go under the yarn. And if you want to use the crossed stitch, which is easier to nook, I will show you these two ways, then you would cast on over the yarn. You would cast on like this. So you go through the stitch and then you pull up your loop over the yarn. So your hook is over. And these are the two ways how to cast on. And if you have all your stitches, you pull through the strand and this is your cast on.